got to get one of these for home. Ooh. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Glad you're here. Nice to see everybody. Got a few brave ones in the front row. Thank you. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Hey, Dan. Hello to everybody out in the field, too. Hopefully we have lots of folks calling in from the field because we have a special guest today. It's Rebecca Water. Um, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you for joining us and taking time out of your busy schedule. Rebecca's the invitation. Absolutely. Rebecca's actually here for the Fish Passage Conference. It's an international conference. I think it's the second annual one being held at UMass all week. And Rebecca's been asked to be the plenary speaker tomorrow morning. So we capitalized on your visit and asked if you wouldn't mind coming to talk to us a little bit here in Region 5. Rebecca is a, the special counsel special advisor to Secretary Salazar on the America's Great Outdoors with a special focus on rivers and the Rivers Initiative. So Rebecca's here to talk to us a little bit about what's going on in the Secretary's, Secretary's Corridor um, on all of these initiatives and has been doing fantastic work um, on that. So I'm looking forward to having that dialogue with all of you and learning more about um, the Rivers Initiative. Come on in, everybody. There's seats, plenty of seats. Um, and speaking of the River Initiative, we have 13 of the 51 that are nationally being um, talked about and discussed and acted upon. We have 13 in the Northeast, and out of those, we have eight that Fish and Wildlife Services lead for. So it's pretty exciting. We have a lot of good things going on in the Northeast, and it's fun to be able to show a little of that off. We're going to give Rebecca a field trip tomorrow to see some of the good work going on in Fish Passage, too. So we're excited for that opportunity. Um, so with no further ado, I think I'll just give a quick introduction, um, a little background on Rebecca, and then I'll turn it over to you to talk to us for a little bit. Um, so I had the pleasure of being with Rebecca on May 24th. The secretary came to Hartford, Secretary Salazar, and some of the uh, local um, congressmen and senators. Together they announced the um, secretary signed a secretarial order on the national blue way system. And it was very exciting. And that was um, largely in part due to Rebecca's effort, and we really appreciate that. And Rebecca was able to name the Connecticut River the first, first ever uh, Blue Way. So that was a big event. We got great media, good attention, and it's nice to see that system be, you know, be recognized for all the years and years of good work. And as you know, it's a, it's Silvio Conti Refuge is a big leader in that. I think there's over 40 partners that have been working on that four-state river system for a long time. I think it's something like 410 miles of river and over 7 million acres. So it's a big system, and it's really exciting to be able to have that attention with a focus on recreation and conservation and bolstering the economy. And so I think the idea is to have blue ways recognized across the nation. And Rebecca will talk a little bit about more about, I think, that effort as well. But so not only is Rebecca an incredible woman, but she's a um, huge in a conservation leader in the U.S. And it's really great to have her as part of the Department of Interior's administration. So um, Rebecca, in the past, has served as the president and CEO of American Rivers, which I'm sure you're all very familiar with that organization. It's the nation's leading river conservation organization. And you were there from 95, I believe, to 2011. And you successfully directed strategic, programmatic, and financial operations, resulting in an eight-fold increase in revenue, a four-fold increase in growth in staff, and establishment of more than a dozen field offices delivering conservation services to communities across America. And under your leadership, America Rivers helped dozens of communities transform their rivers from liabilities to assets. Through innovative conservation measures like the creation of river trails, the removal of obsolete and dangerous dams, and the implementation of green infrastructure solutions to safeguard clean water. As we all know, that's really important to us here in the Northeast. Under your direction, the organization developed effective public education and involvement programs such as America's Top Ten Most Endangered Rivers and the National River Cleanup, which you get to see every year. It comes out in the news. That's a big deal when they announce what are the uh, ten most endangered rivers. Rebecca served as a conservation chair of the National Lewis and Clark Bicentennial Commemoration and played a leadership role in developing the American Heritage, Ri Heritage Rivers Initiative. And in 2010, she, she was recognized as in the top 25 outstanding conservationists by Outdoor Life magazine and was named Woman of the Year by the American Sport Fishing Association in 1998. Impressive. 
From 1981 to 1994, Rebecca served in several different capacities. You were at the Wilderness Society as Vice President for Organizational Development, Vice President for Membership Marketing and Development, and as Director of the Alaska Program. So prior to that, Rebecca was a legislative assistant to the U.S. Senator Gaylord Nelson in Wisconsin. And during that, she directed a uh, recreation and resource. Oh, and during that, before that, you directed a res recreation and resource study for the Lower St. Croix. I was there, National Wild and Scenic River for the states of Wisconsin and Minnesota and the National Park Service. And lastly, Rebecca began her career as an environmental planner for the Leo A. Daly Company, architects, engineers, and planners, preparing environmental impact statements and developing environmental components of large-scale engineering projects. Rebecca holds a BA in Biology and a BA in Environmental Studies from the University of Kansas, graduating with highest distinction. And you also hold an MS in Landscape Architecture and Water Resource Management from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. We're very happy to have you. Thank you for joining us, and welcome to Region 5 and the great employees that work here. You're just seeing um, about 200, I was saying we have about 200 people here in the regional office and another 1,000 just about out in the field, so hopefully many of them are joining us here today. Nice to have you. <coughs> Thanks, Wendy. Uh, it, it's, it's terrific to be here. I was up in this region just a couple of weeks ago for, as Wendy said, for the uh, creation of this new national blueway system and recognizing uh, the Connecticut River as the first national blueway. And, and, th and through that, I had a chance to work with some of your colleagues up in this region. I see Marcy Kaplis out uh, in the audience. She was uh, key to the su success of that event. and. And uh, Andy French, of course, uh, uh, was a, a, a s just a rock for the entire effort. So it's it's been um, one of the places that I've really enjoyed uh, learning from, working with, and uh, I know I'll get a lot more out of my visit today and tomorrow. So appreciate being up here and having a chance to tell you a little bit a little bit about what's going on in uh, the secretary's office, particularly when it comes to rivers, and then just answer your questions or do the best that I can to try to answer your questions. As, as Wendy went through my, um, my bio, what you probably heard over and over again was uh, river. Uh, there's a river theme, um, not just because my last name is Water, but there's a connection there. <laughs> and, um, and so I, I have been working on this subject um, for many, many years. And, and some people come to river work in, in different ways. Some people are passionate fly fishermen. Some people are whitewater kayakers, you know, I, I come to rivers from a more, I guess, a more philosophical and holistic um, perspective. Um, I, for one thing, I think river, well, rivers are just a good medium for conservation, and conservation is something I've been interested in for my, practically my whole life. So, um, you know, in one, one thing about rivers, we have three and a half million miles of rivers in the country, a quarter of a million named rivers. It's rivers were how we um, built this country. We explored by rivers. We settled on the banks of rivers. We, we built our cities and powered our cities and got our drinking water. So rivers have tremendous reach. I mean, just really anywhere that I go in the country, there's going to be a river there. And the river is going to be part of the story of the community that I'm visiting. And so there's always, there's always a, um, a way to talk about rivers no matter, no matter where I go. And, and similarly, um, I can talk about rivers t to anyone because rivers are relevant to all kinds of things. You don't have to be a card-carrying conservationist to care about your river. You, um, it, 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 it's clean water. It's, uh, for many communities, it's, it's part of the transportation system. It may provide power. It certainly provides open space and, and wonderful wildlife habitat. So rivers are relevant to the things that almost anybody cares about. There's some way you can talk to, to nearly anyone about a river and make it relevant to their lives. And, and most important of all, um, rivers are, are resilient. And uh, that is something I, I really love about them. Um, 